folks. I'm glad you're all here. Today is Monday, December 30th. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Heads up, we got two strong CMEs that are going to impact the Earth. A G3 strong geomagnetic storm watch is in effect for tomorrow and January 1st. There is at least two coronal mass ejections, CMEs, that are heading towards Earth with impacts expected on December 31st and January 1st of next year, 2025. The first CME, much stronger, was produced by a filament eruption at 4.30 UTC time on December 29th from active region AR3939. This resulted in an asymmetric partial halo CME first seen in a NASA choreographed imagery at approximately 624 universal time. Analysis and modeling of the first CME indicated an Earth-directed event with an arrival date of 1700 universal time on December 31st. That's according to NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. Additional sunspot area 3939 also produced an M3.3 flare at 1708 Universal Time that resulted in yet another partial halo CME, although a more faint first seen in NASA's choreographed imagery around 1800 Universal Time. The second impact is expected around 6 o'clock Universal Time on January 1st this coming new year. All links to different images that I'm showing you will be down below in the more information box if you have access to that. But here you can see um, plasma density and let's bring, bring it down to the time that it expected to impact us. And I will hit play. See if it's going to go. Alright, it's got to load. There we go. And it shows the date. Okay, we got the 29th, the 30th, which is today, and then the 31st, tomorrow, and then the 1st. So we got two spikes, and these are what's going to impact us. And then on the right, or the left here, let me, let me bring this over. Yeah, you can see how the Earth is the little green dot right here. Yeah, Earth directed for both of these. Yeah. So, more than likely, we're going to have a G3, strong geomagnetic storm, and we're going to be on watch. It's going to be in, in effect um, on the 31st tomorrow. However, this watch does not take into account the second weaker CME impacting the planet. So, we may have a G3. Let me bring this over on the 31st, but then... Um, on the first, you can see that, yeah, it's going to probably create more havoc for us. And then we got a smaller one right there. So going to the solar activity right here is the X1.5 solar flare, 1.59. And then that was the second one. And then here we got the N1 point, oops. 1.1, <laughs> I can get it to stay there, 1.01. .01. And then there's been probably at least 20 M-class flares. This means it's going to affect our electronics, GPS, uh, radio, satellite. Uh, yeah, your cable networks which come through by satellites. Um, yeah, it might trigger false alarms for the electrical systems. Um, for spacecraft operations, the storm can cause surface charging on the satellite's components, increased drag on low Earth satellites. Um, that could be bad if they got any they're currently wanting to impact the Earth, fall out of orbit. Yeah, it would create more of a drag on those and also cause potential orientation issues requiring corrective measures. Yeah, so it could knock them out of alignment for, yeah, to get the uh, signals from our satellites. Other systems can also experience dis disruptions, 
such as intermediate satellite navigation, low frequency radio navigation problems, as well as irregularities in high frequency HF radio communications. Additionally, auroras associated with G3 storms have been observed at latitudes as low as Illinois and Oregon. So, yeah, those farther north might be able to see the northern lights. So there's definitely been an increased solar activity since December 29th. 3X and over 20 M-class flares. Solar activity has been at high levels since early December 29th with over the uh, 20 M-class and 3X-class flares in just over 24 hours. Can you believe that? And as many of you know, um, solar flares, the impact upon the Earth can create volcanic eruptions, they can cause adverse weather, earthquakes, all kinds of bad stuff. So, heads up for tomorrow. Yep, you might have some problems with your electronics. I'll probably unplug mine when they're not in use. Yeah, um, and if you're traveling, coming back for the holidays, or from the holidays, or traveling for New Year's, and depending on GPS, yeah, you might kind of affect that too anyways that's all i have for you right now yeah always be prepared boy i keep praying that 2025 will be a better year but it's also supposed to impact us yeah january 1st yeah more signs of the times right put your thoughts and comments down below thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll talk to you later God bless you. Bye.